What is electricity? Any appliances that we use in our daily lives, such as household appliances, office equipments, and industrial equipments, almost all of those things take electricity, therefore, we should understand the electricity. The first question that we will find out the answer is, where does electricity come from? All matters are made up of atoms. Then ask the next question, what are atoms? Atoms are the smallest part of an element. They are composed of electrons and nucleus. Electrons surround nucleus. Elements are identified by the number of electrons in orbit around nucleus of atoms and by the number of protons in nucleus. Nucleus is made up of protons and neutrons. And the number of protons and neutrons are balanced. Neutrons have no electric charge, protons have positive charges, and electrons have negative charges. A positive charge of proton equals a negative charge of electron. Electrons are bound in their orbit by attraction of protons. But electrons in the outer band can become free of their orbit by some external forces. These are referred to as free electrons, which move from one atom to the next. Electron flows are produced. These are the basis of electricity. Materials that allow many electrons to move freely are called conductors, and materials that allow few free electrons to move are called insulators. All matters are made up of atoms that have electric charges, therefore, they have electric charges. For the matter that has a balanced number of protons and electrons, positive charge force and negative charge force are balanced, it is called neutral state of an atom. Static electricity represents a situation that all things are made up of electric charges. For example, the rubbing of material against another can cause the static electricity. Free electrons of one material move forcefully till they are freed of their orbits around nucleus and move to another. Electrons of one material decrease, it presents positive charges. At the same time, electrons of another increase, it has negative charges. What is current? An electrical phenomenon is caused by flow of free electrons, from one atom to another. The characteristics of current electricity are opposite to those of static electricity. Wires are made up of conductors, such as copper or aluminum. Atoms of metal are made up of free electrons, which freely move from one atom to the next. If an electron is added in wire, a free electron is attracted to a proton to be neutral. Forcing electrons out of their orbits can cause a lack of electrons. Electrons, which continuously move in wire, are called electric current. Current is flow of electrons, but current and electron flow in the opposite direction. Electron flows from negative to positive, and current flows from positive to negative. Current is determined by the number of electrons passing through a cross-section of a conductor in one second. Current is measured in amperes, which is abbreviated amps. The symbol for amps is, letter A. A current of one amp means, that current passed through a cross-section of two conductors, which are placed in parallel one meter apart, with 2 into 10 power minus 7. Newton per meter force occur in each conductor. It can also mean charges of 1 coulomb, or 6.24 into 10 to the power of 18 electrons, passing through a cross section of a conductor in one second. What is voltage? Electric current is flow of electrons in a conductor. The force required to make current flow through a conductor is called voltage, and potential is the other term of voltage. For example, the first element has more positive charges, so it has higher potential. On the other hand, the second element has charges that are more negative so it has lower potential. The difference between two points is called potential difference. Electromotive force means the force which makes current continuously flows through a conductor. This force can be generated from power generator, battery, 
flashlight battery and fuel cell, etc. Volt, abbreviated V, is the unit of measurement used interchangeably for voltage, potential, and electromotive force. One volt means a force which makes current of one amp move through a resistance of one ohm. What is resistance? Electrons move through a conductor when electric current flows. All materials impede flow of electric current to some extent. This characteristic is called resistance. Resistance increases with an increase of length or decrease of cross-section of a material. The unit of measurement for resistance is ohms and its symbol is the Greek letter omega. Ohms. The resistance of 1 ohm means, a conductor allows a current of 1 amp to flow with a voltage of 1 volt. All materials are different in allowing electrons flow. Materials that allow many electrons to flow freely are called conductors such as copper, silver, aluminium, hydrochloric solution, sulfuric acid and salt water. In contrast, Materials which allow few electrons to flow are called insulators such as plastic, rubber, glass, dry paper and wood. Another type of materials, semiconductors have characteristics of both conductors and insulators. They allow electrons to move while being able to control flow of electrons and examples are carbon, silicon and germanium, etc. The resistance of conductor depends on two main factors, that is, types of material, temperature of material. How to measure current? The instrument used to measure current is called ampere meter or ohmmeter. Steps for current measurement. Connect a small light bulb to a dry cell. Measure current that passes through light bulb by Connecting positive terminal of ammeter to negative terminal of a dry cell. Safety instructions for current measurement. Estimate current that required measuring then choose a suitable ammeter. Since each ammeter has different limit of current measurement, be sure that the connection to positive terminal and negative terminal of ammeter are correct. Do not directly connect ammeter terminals to dry cell terminals, since it can damage the meter. How to measure voltage? The instrument used to measure voltage, difference potential or electromotive force is called voltmeter. Steps for voltage measurement. Connect a small light bulb to a dry cell. A voltmeter is wired in parallel with the light bulb to measure voltage across the light bulb. Connect positive terminal of voltmeter to positive terminal of a dry cell and connect negative terminal of voltmeter to negative terminal of a dry cell. Safety instructions for measuring voltage. Estimate voltage that required measuring then choose a suitable voltmeter. Since each voltmeter is designed with the limit of voltage measurement, be sure that the connecting of positive terminal and negative terminal of voltmeter are correct. How to measure resistance? The instrument used to measure resistance is called test meter or multimeter. The multimeter or test meter is used to make various electrical measurements such as current, voltage and resistance. It combines the functions of ammeter, voltmeter and ohmmeter. Steps for resistance measurement. Turn the face dial to a position for required measuring. Resistance. Then touch both of terminals of multimeter, and adjust the meter range to 0 ohms. Touch both of terminals of meter to a resistance and take the reading. How electricity works. Electric current is the ability to do work. Electric current can be converted to heat, power and magnetism, to name a few. Electric current is classified by its functions and three primary types are, heat and power, electrochemistry, magnetism. Heat and power is used to make heat and power. For example, current carrying nichrom wire, that nichrom wire has a high resistance. And creates heat. This is applied to be component of electric ovens, toasters, electric irons and light bulbs etc. Experiment is made by measuring heat quantity of water by calorie meter. 
increase voltage across wire by the variac, and connect ammeter, and voltmeter, to measure current and voltage. Set the variac scale to adjust voltage, and current value of nichrome wire, and current is passed through periodically, and measure heat quantity from nichrome wire, there are any indications of voltage, and current, if voltage, current and time increase, heat quantity will also increase, they are expressed by the relation as following, this is called Joule's law, heat quantity depends on voltage time current, and interval of time, from Ohm's law, voltage equals current multiplied by resistance, therefore, heat quantity depends on current squared times resistance, and interval of time. When current is passed through nichrome wire in water, current is converted to heat and temperature rises. Work is done by heat generated in an electrical circuit, which is called electric power. Electric power is measured in watts hour, and heat quantity is measured in calories. Work is done by heat generated in an electrical circuit is written in power, which means that the rate work is done in a circuit. When one amp flows with one volt applied and its unit of measurement is watt. Electrochemistry, for example, when current is passed through sodium chloride solution, a chemical reaction called electrolysis occurs. This is applied to produce electrolysis, galvanizing and battery, etc. Experiment is made by soaking two platinum plates in molten salt. Connect batteries to two platinum plates. Current is passed through molten salt and produces chlorine bubbles around positive plate, and hydrogen bubbles around negative plate, since sodium chloride composes of sodium, and chloride. When sodium chloride melts in water, the elements are separated. Sodium has positive charges, while chlorine has negative charges, and these charges are called ions. The molten salt has both positive charges called anodes, and negative charges called cathodes. The state of separated elements is called ionization. If salt is melted by water, solution is available ions, called electrolyte solution. And if current is passed through electrolyte solution, a chemical reaction known as electrolysis occurs. Magnetism. The example of this electric quirk is a current carrying wire. Magnetic lines of flux occur, this is applied to produce electric motors, electric transformers and tape recorders, etc. Understanding Meaning of Magnetism What is magnetism? The compound formula of magnet is, Fe3, O4. All magnets have two characteristics, first, they attract and hold iron, secondary, if free to move like the compass needle, they will assume a north-south position. Any materials have these characteristics, they are called magnet. The characteristics of magnet are, every magnet has two poles, one north pole and one south pole. Opposite poles attract each other, while like poles repel each other. Electricity and magnetic field. When magnetic needle is placed near electric wire, which current is passed through, magnetic needle turns on the direction of current flow, therefore, electric current flow also produces an associated magnetic force, or, it is said that electricity is able to produce magnetic field. When a current carrying wire coil is placed near iron bar, the iron bar moves slightly, if core is placed in a wire coil. The iron bar is attracted strongly, because core is a soft iron, which conducts magnetic lines of force. When current is passed through wire coil around core, the core becomes magnetized with high power, that is called electromagnets. This function is widely applied for using in industries. Thanks for watching, like, comment and subscribe for more updates.